What's up guys? It's your boy Armadoni. Um, for today we have a new game. Um, I recently bought it from Steam. It's called This is the Police, as you can see. Um, so, from what I heard, it's a game with a good story. Um, so we will find out. It's like they have a good voice actor in it. So, other than that, let's begin. So I started the game to see how it works, what it works, blah blah blah. But we will start over. Yeah, 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 blah blah blah. So let's see what we got here. Day one, July, Monday, fifteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Go to work. Oh my god, this is jalopy all over. Hey, it started! Great! It's pitch black. When I was a kid, my father sometimes told me at bedtime that if I closed my eyes and didn't open them for a long time, all the demons would blow away. Yesterday I turned 60, but I still take his advice. Not because I'm sentimental or want to keep the memory of my father alive. I just can't think of a better solution. To get away from all the demons that haunt Freeburg, I'd need to wear a blindfold 24-7. Plus, it's a good idea to act blind when talking to reporters. At least, that's what my colleagues say. They're afraid of press conferences. But for me, it's more like a confessional. No matter what lies you tell, you're privately thinking the honest answers. It helps me remember who I am. The fact that I'll be reading all about it in the papers tomorrow is a small price to pay. Call it penance for the preacher. Good voice act. This is the first time I'm afraid of those answers my mind has given me. Not because I'm mad I'm losing my job. Though it's true, I'm mad as hell. Not because I subconsciously blame everyone else, though I damn sure do blame them. And don't even ask me what my next move is. I can't imagine. But even that doesn't scare me. The worst thing is, I know I'm gonna have to do something. And I'll be damned if I know how far I'll go. I may have a lot of vices, but predictability isn't one of them. Ooh, press conference. I'm starting I learned a long time ago how to drive away the swarming demons. But what do you do when they're trying to rip your soul from your skin? Shutting my eyes tight as I can. The best solution remains the same. Play blind. I just hope the reporters think I was blinded by the camera flash. Hmm. Good idea. Good morning. Yeah, sure. You stupid. Yesterday, the major's office officially announced your resignation. Fuck the word. I don't care. Did this come as a surprise, or did you know about it in the advance? So I get to choose, I guess. Hmm. Surprise, the Major discussed it with me. I've been expecting this bullshit from the Major. Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? Hmm. Major Rogers is a dishonorable, corrupt politician, and he's been waiting for an opportunity to get rid of me. That's what I would say. Do you really know the name of your successor? No, oh, I think it's a new man. I think it's... Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it's a department veteran, of course. Who cares? Ah, fuck it. It's a new man. 
I think they'll bring some new blood, a fresh mind, uh, to take fresh look at the problem. We're doing this good. After the recent corruption scandal, uh, your deputy Francis Kendrick said that he was looking forward to resigning if Major offered him your position. Would that change his mind? Hmm, perhaps. No way. I'd be happy. Who cares? Uh, I think this guy Francis Kendrick is his like best friend or something. So, I don't know. Yeah, I'd be happy. It's hard to say, but I can't think of a more deserving candidate than Ke Captain Kendrick. God. <clears throat> Although Kendrick was... <laughs> Many still believe that the police are cooperating with the Mafia. Do you have anything to say about this? Bullshit! I don't know. If it helps the police, no comment. So, um, if it was me, I would say if it helps the police, but I'll say bullshit because I can't. Excuse me, but that's a pile of horseshit. I didn't say horseshit, I said bullshit. Okay, anyway. The Mafia and the police working together, maybe they're in cahoots with aliens. <laughs> the Mafia are a bunch of low-life criminals. How about some, someone ask a real question? Yeah, man, say it. Do you think your personal relationship with the Major could be a reason behind your retirement? Definitely, definitely not, possibly, I don't know. It's often difficult to say what guides policy decisions. Thank you. No, thank you. How's the back today, mm. Mr. Boyd? Same as usual. How did the press conference go? You can read about it in the newspapers tomorrow. Don't let anyone in. Even Mr. Kendrick? Especially Mr. Kendrick. Oh, that crack. Ooh, pills. Probably painkillers. Oh, yeah, great. Take medicine and then smoke a cigar. <sighs> Yeah, really smart. As soon as I heard the door creak, I knew what face I'd see. When I tell Emma not to let anyone in, there's only one man it could be. Rude, arrogant, no warning. That's Mayor Rogers in a nutshell. White summer oh, shoes, shit. white socks, white shorts, white polo shirt, and the white smile of a hungry shark. Mayor Rogers enters every room like he owns the place. Even the floorboards under his feet sound like they're creaking an apology. He never shied away from the odd corruption scheme. It's like the devil walks behind him. In the movies, the villains controlling the city play golf with the judges. Rogers plays tennis with them instead. That's about the only difference. Jack! I was hoping to catch you after the press conference. You, uh... You ran away so quick. There's no smoking at City Hall. No reason for me to hang around. Well, this morning I signed a ban on smoking in all public buildings. Soon you won't be able to smoke here either. <laughs> Soon enough I won't be here at all. Good point. If that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The people of this city like you, Jack. The police chief, of all people. <laughs> don't, uh, don't betray that, Jack. Don't get wrapped up in any schemes. Sit nice and quiet for the next 180 days, and, uh, and you'll be remembered as a hero. That's the only thing that you still have left. Be the hero. 
Then how am I supposed to scrape together a retirement fund? You had a million chances to secure a luxury pension. One that even I would have envied, although I've never set aside any money for myself. I'm not planning to retire anytime soon. Hey, that's mine. 180 oh, no. days of quiet, Jack. That's all I need. I don't have any problems with you, and you won't have any problems with me. Yeah, sure. I have a new assistant, Troy Starr. If you have something to tell me, call him. But try not to bother him. He's a he's a busy man. <laughs> I'll do my best. Yeah. And quit smoking up the office. One of my friends will be using it soon. You're not the boss of me. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, babe. Only the mayor has this number. Mr. Mayor? Yeah, is this Troy Star? Yes. Go fuck yourself, Troy Star. I don't think he needs that. Checkpoint day two, July 16th. Go to work! 